live today again if you missed it. A uh, record for the date. Hottest ever in June. Uh, 103 now. That humidity looks low, but remember, the hotter the air is, the more moisture it can hold. So 103 with 31% humidity is a lot more humid than, say, 73 with 31% humidity. And it is muggy out there. I'm gonna go ahead and play a single player game. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. If you leave, you a hoe. Your mom's a hoe. That's going in the video. So basically what this game is, is basically all the fairy tales like from Disney. I think, I'm not sure, there's a, well, they're basically fairy tales that live in the real world. I really haven't seen, I did play through this once already, but, you know, it just, I never, there's like two things that I haven't unlocked, so I'm gonna replay this whole thing. Mr. Toad? Oh, shit. Let me turn on subs. Let me turn on the subs. Big B! Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. No need to kick up a fuss. Look, no harm done. I'll give you a pass, but listen. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. You can't send me up to live with those animals. You know what I mean. Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spout goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I don't make the rules. Sorry. I can't give you a free pass on this, Toad. My hands are tied. Right, right. There's too much at stake. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Fucking hell! See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there, do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place! Gonna go ahead and hit I upstairs. Yes, please. Thank you. Furry prick got shite. Tell me how to spend my money. Dad, the lights are shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get the fuck back inside. I like how the cursing is not limited whatsoever. What's up with that music? That was like happy Mexican music. No, I fucking am, you hear me? Hey, look at me! Some matches. What is that? Muddy matchbook. A phone. Take a look. Take a good look. Know who I am now? Hey, look at me! Gonna try to be nice about this. Damn. God damn you! No way! Whoa, 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 now. whoa, hey, Don't hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid <laughs> girl? <laughs> I'll fucking kill you! All right, everyone. <gasps> Why? Why would you do that? What are you gonna fucking do, huh? Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. You're drunk, all right? Think this through. 
If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Put me down? You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. <laughs> I better ask. <laughs> you should probably get out of here. Look. I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. I'll fucking put you on the ground. You hear me? Hey, if you can't be nice, I'm gonna make you wait outside. <laughs> oh, fucking shit. You bug my jaw, you bastard. And still you talk. Fuck you. Shit. What are you doing here? These lips are sealed. Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry, you saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. Knock it off! Are you alright? I'm hunky-dory. Thanks for asking. Why was he hitting you? He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hun? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved the little red riding hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of stones and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch! Uh, would you excuse me for a moment? By all means. Come on! What? What? Oh shit. Ah, shit. <clears throat> hey Toad. My car. Yeah. Oh, it's Toad's whip. <clears throat> Give me a second. Oh no, by all means. Take your time. Make yourself comfortable. So, uh, how good is your insurance? <laughs> I'll you. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be made. But even when you help, 
things end up more fucked than they started. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. Thanks. Don't mention it. I'm just getting what he owes me. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Great. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more from me. He'll be fine. I'll kill you, you fucking bitch. Let me help you. Guy's having a bad day. That makes two of us. I guess it's a good thing fables are hard to kill. Suppose it is. Is welcome. Who do you work for, really? These lips are sealed. Sorry. Hey, you like my ribbon? Thank you. I, I forgot like what, what the... For. I forgot what the ribbon does. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But things change, I guess. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be like a little red. And he's gone. Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. Are you sure? Uh, he's had enough. For tonight, at least. Wouldn't be surprised if he has an axe to grind, though. <laughs> that wasn't intentional. Sorry. was the owed you? A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty-handed. I'll be fine. Let's see, I've got, uh... It's twenty... Forty... Seven... Eight... Fifty-eight. It's all I got. Uh, it'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. 
Just take the money, okay? I'm trying to be nice. Oh wait, you I think me. last time I, I gave her the money. Back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where I You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. You should get cleaned up. You look like shit. And I don't use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. I clean up okay. I'll believe it when I see it. Damn, I'm not sure if that's flirting or not. Hey. But I'm almost 100% sure this is I little red. I need to tell you something. What is it? You're These not lips as are still. As everyone says you are. I'll see you around, Wolf. Yeah, it's just me, but like I'm not trying to be weird or anything. But she looks fine as fuck. I had my own lighter. the music in this game. Episode Juan Fate. The Woodland Luxury Apartments in Fable Town and it's late. The Woodland Luxury Apartments. Luxury Apartments. Wish they wouldn't advertise that. <laughs> Alright, so because we didn't do a proper intro, hi there guys, my name is Mr. Mediated, and something is going on. Welcome to my gym. Come on out, don't make me go and stay off the grass. There's no walking on the grass, no white's orders. I'll be sure to send her an apology. Beauty. Hello, Big B. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd, but there's an explanation, I swear. Why'd you hide when I what did you have? Well, I didn't know who it was. You can't be too careful these days. Mm hmm No, you can't. Damn it, I'm late. Please, Big B. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it is, and... It would just make my life a lot easier. Just I won't say anything. Please. Sure. You promise? I promise. I promise. Thank you, Bigby. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. Thank you for trusting me. Really, I, I appreciate it, Bigby.
to you're gonna go ahead and go get it on. So as I was saying, hi there guys, my name is Mr. Mediated, and this is The Wolf Among Us. I'm probably gonna try to do this, and I'm probably gonna try to do all five episodes. I'm really just gonna try to like skim through it, not too much in detail. Hey, you wink. And the things that I missed, hmm. Grimble. Probably for the best. I'm not aware of Grimble. Does he don't move? Been a while since I got any mail. Motherfucker never gets mail. Nope. Seven day in a row. <laughs> Security office, maintenance, gear, F storage. So yeah, hopefully this becomes a series. Bigby, hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? I have not. I haven't seen her seen out of this. Haven't nope. seen her. Haven't seen her. Oh, okay. Sorry to bother you. Damn it. Something's going on. Sounds like somebody's jealous. And Jelly Belly. Big B's apartment. I don't know why he did that. Cracked a window. Gotta clean up real good. Should have got a smaller one. Damn it. Bluebeard's file. Who's Bluebeard? Main. Don't even remember ordering that. Probably a bad sign. Uh, probably some really, really old town main. I hear start. Why is there a picket? <sighs> no, not again. Uh oh. Oh, hey, Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? got the one so yeah I'm trying to be nice to everybody got a smoke Thanks. A couple thousand more of these, we'll be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. 
the fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Calm down. I'm not sending you back. That for me? Nope. The house <laughs> didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. If that was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. Oh, shit. It is better to be feared than loved. Do you know who said that? Yeah, some sad asshole. <laughs> Me? Eating alone. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables? Sometimes hey, he came I at take me. him to the farm. Fuck you. <laughs> you think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Uh, not nope. everyone. Name one. Toad. Toad. Mr. Toad. Okay. How are his kids doing? It was yelling. Pretty good. Uh, sounds about right. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at Snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. You're the motherfucker really wants a drink. Just percent. give me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I. Look, if I give you this. You let me sleep. Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Thanks, Big B. It's crazy to think that he doesn't eat. Or well, at least he hasn't eaten anyone. Where's the damn pig? Snow? Big me. Snow? Come with me. No. Snow. What? Sorry, I'm. What is it? Just uh, slow down. No, keep up. We need to. Hi. Hello. Good morning or evening. <laughs> yeah.
These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. So that's all the rush for? That's the rush? To talk outside? Oh, for the murder someone. Security. I wonder what this is doing here. This girl is she's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. She looks familiar. I can't place her though. A working girl? A working girl? I don't I mean, I'm a working oh. Woodsman. He attacked her, I stepped in, and he threatened to kill us both. No, you don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... terrible. So, who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then, I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? No. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. I did see something in the lips. What is? It's a ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Huh. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. Strange cut. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp, or something with magic attached to it. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? <sighs> I'm... I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what... What do you want to do next? We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe?
Got some loose trash. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. Yep, more blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, then left the trail I found earlier. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? Why her? Someone brought her in from the outside. That makes sense. There's no signs of a struggle. But how do you know? I found blood on the fence, back there. Someone hopped over. Okay, good. That's solid. So, someone from the outside. Well, at least they didn't come from inside the woodlands. I'm gonna have to talk Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. <sighs> I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. Blind? What, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. Fucker. Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, is that how you see things? Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. Bluebeard was mentioned. Don't be absurd. Bluebeard is out of the country as we speak, so don't even think about accusing him of such a treacherous affair. The guy has a history of beheading young women. I'd say that's something worth checking out. If all you're operating off of is ancient history, we're all in much more trouble than I imagined. By that rationale, you're a suspect as well, Wolf. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fabletown knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. 
Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You know what? Stop. We'll get on it right away, sir. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. Who gets a massage this early? Crane. It doesn't really matter the time of day. A mere scent of stress, and he's out the door. Is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? It hasn't been a great morning, Buffkin. Sorry. Eh, not your fault. Thanks for asking, though. Buffkin. Get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Mm, not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Hello, Vivian? Hi. Hey, Magic Mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel but have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Show me Buffkin. Hey, put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. Show me the woodsman. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Hmm. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. Hey, Phil. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. 
Thank you. To try. I feel like a lot of these characters say that. We'll start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. Pretty sure that's supposed to be me. Yeah, dwarves. Less said about that, the better. Hi, buddy. The woodsman? Yep, and his axe. Yeah, the two of them. <laughs> I wonder what the story was. Beauty, happier days. And her man. Beast. Funny. Colin and his brothers. I've seen this before. This symbol on the man's clothes, it's the same as the rings. Could be her father, or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days, and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. Okay, I'm pretty sure it might have mistaken that. Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss. His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. Nice hat. I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. Ah, great. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Look out for each other. Don't overdo it. Buffkin, <laughs> translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. This looks familiar. Yes, from the Acts of the Woodsman, a druid blessing, actually. Someone blast that thing. I only translate. What's it say about that? It says Bricklebit in an older elfish hand. What's Bricklebit? A magic word. What's it do? Makes animals shit gold. What's that? It reads... Mark of the House of the Frog Prince. Not quite who I'm looking for. So I'm pretty sure it's this shit. That would be it. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alelairo. I'll go look it up. Alelairo. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin, also known as <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> I prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic. Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. 
The story of Donkey Skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Uh, his daughter, Faith. Oh, shit. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... Her name was Faith. Yeah. Damn. Maybe we should talk to the husband. You think he did it? No, I don't. But we need to let him know about his wife. Well, let me just go ask the mirror, and then I think I'm gonna end this episode here because it is up to an hour already. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, Abel, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? Donkey skin. Show me. Show me faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Barry. It's simply the way this has to be. Show me Faith's father, the old king. Oh, he did his work. I guess that crosses him off the suspect list. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Yeah, oh, shit. Oh, yeah, never mind. I'm not gonna fucking leave this on cliffhanger. Sorry, I have to get that. You're shitting me. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I. He is. Hold on, Bigby. It's for you. Bigby, it's me, Tom. You there? What do you want? Big B. Shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Big B, before he... Oh, wait. Hang on. Boy! Shit! Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's uh... husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Alright, I'm gonna go with Whenever you're ready. first. Got my sidekick, Snow White. Fine as foot. I still don't know why most of the characters in this look really good. Did Toad say who was there? Was it the Woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Big B, shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? 
What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We told the apartment Lawrence's apartment. Uh, uh, last time I went, we told some little Lawrence's apartment. need to tell apartment. him about his wife. He deserves to know. You're right. And Toad's a tough toad. He can probably handle himself for a few hours. We'll have to. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. When the magic mirror showed me this apartment, I think I saw a knife inside, covered in what looked like blood. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Well, like I said, let's not overcomplicate things. You can question him while I look around for it. And if he objects? We're here on official Fabletown business. And we can be persuasive if necessary. Or you can. I feel like she kind of likes him when he plays Bad Wolf. You know what I mean? Wink, wink. Lawrence, you in there? Hey, open up! It's Bigby. I need to talk to you. Kick it down. Hey. Hey. Right. The police robot. This out. Guess we're out of options. Come on, help me up. You purred it, hang. Was that JFK? I mean, Kennedy? figure out what the hell is going on here who would do this to them I don't know snow did you just blink When do you think that was taken? Before all this. Still a little sticky. you and I cannot endure knowing that I have this was for the best I'll see you again love your devoted Lawrence I should know his face there are so few of us I should know his face oh, it's close. oh my god Bigby he's alive 
What? What are you doing here? Let's get you back up. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing here? What's going on? We found you here, in your chair, with what we thought was a fatal injury. We should call Swinehart, have him take a look at you. Wait a second on that, Snow. You know who I am? Yes. Good. I have a few questions. Why? What? What's this about? When was the last time you saw your wife, Lawrence? I... I don't know. A few weeks ago. She came by to get some things. That's what she said. But I, I think it was so she could leave some money. I, I didn't find it till later. We've been separated for some time now. Lawrence, what did you do? I made a decision for us. It felt like the only way out, so... I shot myself in the heart. I uh, thought I'd be dead by now. It hurts like fucking hell. Your heart's actually a little more to the center. Probably had a lung. Great. Uh, at least that's how I think it happened. Things are a little fuzzy. Thought it was a bad dream. Why did you do it, Lawrence? I did it because I was ashamed. I, I couldn't live with myself, knowing I had done that to her. What did you I do did to her? I did what I could to keep her away. But she still worries about me. She comes by, makes sure I'm okay. I'm a fucking burden. I'm useless. I don't want her to have to worry about me anymore. She's better off without me. Without me being here to drag her down. She deserves that. She's been through a lot. I just wish I could have done better by her. She's always been there for me. Go away. Your wife is missing. What? Oh, no. 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 No, no, no. I knew this would happen. Fuck it, Georgie. Lawrence. Expecting anyone? We'll see who it is. No, wait. We need to know why whoever's out there is breaking in. I need your help. What do I do? Just play dead. What? Trust me. You can't move in your condition anyway, so just stay still. The second we figure out what they're here for, Bigby will arrest them. Think about your wife. Hey! 
Stop! Oh shit. Oh shit. Leave me alone! Same side here. You son of a bitch. Make me run after you. Why <coughs> did you run? <coughs> what? Why did you run? Fuck, man. Because you chased after me. The fuck was I supposed to do? You're looking for the woodsman, right? My employer is looking to ask him a few questions, too. Who's your employer? I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand. Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on. You're coming with me. This could have been easy. Oh, don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to... No, I'm D. He's dumb. Well, just gonna knock the fuck out. He almost looked peaceful. Yep. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. With an open wound on the back of your head. Well, the one guy hit you, then the other one started kicking you. Explains the ribs. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on, get up. We should check in on Toad, see if there's anything there that can get us back on the trail. Alright, we're just gonna finish up the tour. And we ended up going out the window, and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Looks worse than the day. I don't think anybody's here. We came all this way for nothing. All right, son. All right, he's gone. He's left. It's over now. Is that his son? Toads, I think. Be nice in there, okay? Hey, Toad, you in there? <laughs> Big B and Miss White. Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big B. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this. We heard someone crying. 
Oh, the boy stubbed his toe on the bed frame is all. It stings, you know, but it's nothing to kick up a fuss about. A little tub swim, he'll be right as rain, I'm sure. Is your son in there? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna... So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. This is for your own safety, Toad. You called us, remember? Yeah, yeah, I know, and I appreciate it, mate, but... It's fine. Relax. I'll be out of here in a minute. I just want to check things out first. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. TJ? Are you all right? There you are. I don't mean to intrude, but Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection, and I was wondering if you could perhaps let me see it? It has a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. How'd this happen? Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. Well, the boy was faffing about, playing salts and saltfish. Nose with the lad. Your lock's busted, too. This place is falling apart. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Oh, for Christ's sake, a fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. He's obviously hiding something. <laughs> it's just some wood rot. Not mold or anything. He's bleeding. Why? Is that it's blood? Still fresh. Oh, well, I'll cut me end. <laughs> Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Sounds painful. Oi! Don't you go mothering now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. Here. On the poker? Yeah. What happened? Oh, well, that's... that's how it happened, didn't it? Oh, I was... I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. If you're gonna say something, out with it. Wait, you dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, no, I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. No crime in a little accident. I think maybe you're hiding something. Hiding something? Maybe. But, uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know yet. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not... And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see.
what is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened, I... No, there's marks here on the windowsill. And what's that about? No real reason. Just last night, when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright tizzy, mate, as you would be. And <laughs> I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. You heard uh, the new uh, Shaking Stevens album yet? Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running? Didn't stop the recycling? What's the point of all this, mate? Really? Thought you wouldn't need keys. Since the lock's broken, so why'd you climb in through the window? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head, that's all it was. I forgot a fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing you're bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. Place needs a bit of dusting, I suppose. Toad, I know you're lying about the door. Fucking hell, Big B, I forgot my keys. Can't a grown frog just forget his latch for a bit? This wood might have rotted, but it just made the kicking it in part easier. I know you, Toad. You sleep in your smashed up car's glove box before you think to climb in the fucking window. You want me out of here, I want out of here. Just come clean. What's going on? Place needs a little brooming, that's all. What is it? I know something's off here, Toad. And I know you know I can't leave until I find out why. So can we please just skip to the end of the page before I have to get mean? I don't know what you want, Big B. There's nothing going on. There's just... there's just nothing to tell. Look around the room and see for yourself. Everything has its explanation, you'll see. Honestly, Toad, I don't know if I will. And I don't know if I've got the patience to reverse engineer whatever scheme this is. Me boy's in the other room, Big B. Come on now. We're friends, right? I mean, I called you here. Can't we just start over? What is it, mate? Tell me what's up, right now. You know what happens if you don't. We've already been through this, mate. Big B, look, I'm sorry, but there's just nothing to say. Oh, please, think of my boy before you do something rash. Come on now, we're friends, right? I mean, I called you here. Can't we just start over? I don't want to hit Toad so bad. Though most people think they are. Uh-huh. How's it going? Toad's hiding something, but I don't know what yet. Did the kid say anything? No, but I'm worried. He has two huge bruises on his arms. He won't tell me why, and he acted nervous when I brought it up. Hmm. Something's going on. Stay with the kid until I figure out why. There's a mark over here, too. What you mean? There's a clean space in the dust over here. Oh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? I 
broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because it wasn't on that table, Toad. There isn't any room in the electric outlets. Huh? What are it you- It was plugged in over here, and now it's there. I, I did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? And not plug it in? Come on, Toad. I just hadn't gotten around to it yet. You see how many damn plugs there are? Bigby, come on. I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... this sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called. Really, I am. But will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? You say, to my face, that you think I'm hiding something from you? Well, you've had to go out of the room for a fair bit of time now. Nothing's here. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. It's not seemly. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad? Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? Toad? These stories have made no sense. You didn't cut <coughs> yourself on the poker. You didn't forget your keys. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. Take off the hat. Oh, shit. <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a Tweedle, Dumb or D. You gotta strip them down to their Johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. And if you had come in when I asked you to, maybe he wouldn't have had the nerve to strong arm me boy. He hurt Toad Jr. How awful. What the hell does he care? It's always the same with you, isn't it, Big B? If I'm in trouble, need help, if I call about something, you always take live long day to get it. What if he done something worse, eh? I'm tired of feeling trivial, mate. A lot of us are. We're sorry, TJ. Really. We were lucky it didn't go any further. Do you know what he was looking for? I have Defense. no idea. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give a bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. I merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. With my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. What do you want to do with it? I'm sorry. Faith. What could she have been sorry for? I don't know. But maybe Lawrence does. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. <sighs> it was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. 
fuck you too, kid. And don't worry about what happened earlier. Just feel better, okay? And if you're looking for the woodsman, try down at the trip trap. Okay, in an hour and 30 minutes, we're just gonna have to leave it here. And... Alright.